Hi, so first thing about the compound microscope, this is an expensive piece of equipment, so you need to treat it carefully. If you, you should not need to move the microscope ever, but if you do, uh, you want to use the handles located right here and then one in the back, holding both handles, pick it straight up, move it to where you want it to go, and place it straight down, okay? Don't slide it along the table, that can damage it. All right, once it's in place, uh, you'll want to turn it on. There's a little power switch right here. You should see the light turn on. If when you turn it on you don't see the light, make sure that the light adjustment knob here is turned up to a brightness level that you would see. All right, and then just like with the worms, how we use the trick of using our master plate of worms so that we knew there was really tons of worms on there for us to look at. Well, again, there's another trick you can use for the compound scope. You can take a glass slide and a Sharpie marker and draw an X right on the top of the slide and use that, focus on that X, and then you can switch it out and move to your specimen area. And you should, in general, be approximately focused with the microscope set up properly for that. So we'll draw our X and place it on the stage here. So first we'll move the stage all the way down. Okay, so to so the lowest setting, use this little clip here, open it up, put your slide in place and clamp it shut, and then you use these knobs here. This one moves it forward and back, this one moves the stage left and right. So I'll use those to get my X centered over the light source here. And then, um, we'll want to first look at our slide at the lowest magnification. So we have three different objectives for our slides, a 4x, a 10x, and a 40x, and those magnifications are written on the objectives themselves. The magnification combined with the 10x magnification in your oculars here will create 40x, 100x, and 400x magnification overall. All right, so we'll start with our 4x which translates to overall 40x magnification. Um, for each objective, it will say what setting of the condenser to use it with. So with 4x, we'll use the zero setting. So you should feel the condenser click into place, all right? So I've set it to the zero. It's clicked into place. My 4x objective uh, also clicks into place. So make sure you really get the click for both. Um, once you have that, you can look in. It's way too bright for my eyes. It's hurting them, so I'll turn the light down. So adjust the light to something that's comfortable. And then use the focus to slowly bring the stage up with the coarse focus knob, the large knob here, until you can see your X clearly. And then you can use the fine focus to do further adjustment if needed. All right, so I've got that. Now I would switch this um, and move my slide over to the area with my actual specimen. Make sure that's totally centered in my view. Before I move the magnification up, you want it, what you want to see completely in the center of your field of view. And I'll then switch out my objective. All right, I feel it click into place. And now I need to adjust my condenser to pH 1, and it tells me to use pH 1 here. I look inside, it's totally dark. So you often need to adjust the light when you go from diff when you switch out the condenser and the objective. And I'll use the fine focus knob to once again get my specimen in focus. All right, same thing when I go up to 40x. Always be careful, right? The 40x is longer than the others, um, and the 10x is longer than the 4x. So whenever you're switching your objectives, just be mindful that you're not going to run the objective into the slide, okay? So I'll, I switched my objective, I'm switching my condenser, I adjust my light if needed, and then I focus. All right, one other adjustment that you might be interested in is the distance between the eyepieces here. So adjust those to something that's comfortable so that until you see clearly one uh, one image with your two eyes open. All right, and that is when you're all done, obviously switch the power off, remove your slide, it goes in glass waste, and put the stage all the way to its lowest setting again. And that's pretty much how the compound microscopes will work 
for you guys. If you're interested in understanding more about them or in other adjustments, there are some more adjustments that we can do if needed. There will be a manual on our Blackboard resources that you can read and you can also talk to your instructor about those.